Bummer, my computer is now supported by Windows 11. What am I going to do now? I'm going to have to buy hardware. I'm going to have to buy maybe a new computer. I'm going to have to throw it away. Well, I don't think you have to do that. What if I tell you, you can install Windows 11 on unsupported systems. Like in my example, it says TPM 2.0, and it says that my CPU is not compatible. Well, today I'm going to show you how to bypass that and still install Windows 11 on your computer. Now, if you want to check if your computer is compatible, just go to your computer and check PC Health Check. You might have to download it. Check now. Boom. You can't do it. Oh, my God. Well, let's do it. Okay, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a USB and we're going to need a computer so we can load that image. So let's put in uh, our USB. And we're going to see here on this PC how the drive came up. Now we're going to go to your preferred uh, Internet Explorer. We're going to go to Google. And we're going to do Windows. 11 image creation tool windows 11 image creation tool we're gonna create installation media we click there we see windows 10 windows 11 we want to do windows 11. we're gonna go down here and there's a section here for our download multi-edition windows 11. And then it's gonna ask us for a language our language, English, United States for me. And the 64-bit version is going to come up. Download. And then you're going to get the download here. It's going to start 5.4 gigabytes. And now, uh, after the uh, Windows 11 image downloads, the ISO, uh, just make sure that you do have it in there. Then we're going to go to google and we're going to type rufus rufus is an amazing tool it helps create bootable usb drives an amazing tool simplifies a lot of the process you go down here you click on here and then you can see here rufus downloaded and then you can open it up you can see here you can see the drive we remember it will see and we're going to select our fully downloaded uh, Windows 11 ISO. Okay, we have the image, Windows 11, GPT, UEFI for your system. If you have legacy system, it might be MD MBR, but most likely it's going to be GPT and a UEFI. Name this uh, volume however you prefer. I'm going to do Win 11 24H2 and just click start and you can see this beautiful screen co come up and basically uh, this is why Roof is so nice as well. Uh, they, they already set up all the scripts for uh, bypassing the Microsoft account, all the requirements for Windows 11. So I'm going to check all of them. I'm going to check TPM 2.0. I'm going to check... Uh, to remove their requirement for a Microsoft account. I'm going to create a local account, which I prefer a local account versus a Microsoft account because I like my privacy. Uh, set regional options, same as this one, and skip privacy questions. Disable BitLocker, boom, that's all I want. And if you want to keep some of those other ones, you can keep them depending on what you prefer. Okay, and this is still, we have to acknowledge that it's going to destroy everything on the drive. Okay. Okay, and we have uh, our USB drive ready for use. We're just gonna close out. Close out of here. Eject. And now we're gonna test our USB drive on our uh, unsupported system and see if it works. Let's Let's get to working. Okay, so I just plugged in my uh, USB to the computer, and I'll show you in a second. And we're gonna boot up. Make sure you press whatever key to go into the BIOS menu. And 
in my specific case, if we go to startup, boot mode, boot priority, mine was on legacy first, but I had to change to UEFI because as you guys can remember, we set up to UEFI, not MBR, which would be legacy. So I'm setting it to UEFI so that it works the way it's supposed to. And we can see the USB drive right there. We're going to click uh, F10. We're going to save uh, the changes. And as, as you guys saw, the USB is inserted. Okay, we're gonna leave a uh, default US. We're gonna install Windows 11. We have to check to agree. Okay, accept the license. And this is my unsupported system. Lenovo Think Center M900. Now we're going to select disk zero, which is our SSD. And you guys can see the other naming convention is the one that we created with uh, Rufus. We're going to install. This will take a while. Okay, so now we're going to say select. I don't have internet connection. Well, you can choose uh, your internet connection, but uh, it's just going to go a lot quicker. And voila, look at that, directly into the uh, local uh, account. You didn't have to go through the other questions with the other privacy questions, setting up this, setting up that. Quick, easy, fast. This is how I like to install Windows 11. And let's remember, this is an unsupported system. And we're still able to fully uh, install Windows 11. So if you want to do it to one of your machines and you have it uh, tucked away in the corner, bring it out of the corner and just start working with it. Do your uh, Windows 11 Rufus installation media just the way we did. And you should be good to go. So let's uh, finish this up and see what else comes up. And look at this. We have a Windows 11 image. Let's verify this. Let's see. Windows 11 Pro. You see it had Windows 10 Pro and it recognizes that license and it just allows it to go into Windows 11 Pro. So there you go. Mission successful and I hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, let me know and I'll see you around. Locotech out.